Okay, so continuing with corollaries, um, let's look at the union of any two events A and B. Now here you see, we are not uh, guaranteeing that A and B are disjoint, okay? They may be any two events. They may be disjoint, they may be not, okay? And in the most general case, we will assume they might overlap, so they might have some intersection. So let's say this is your sample space, and I have two events here, A and B. And their intersection is not necessarily empty. But you see, I can write this union, A union B, as the union of two disjoint events, sorry, or two, two disjoint sense, sets. For instance, I can take this, which is A difference B, right? A difference B, and I can take event B, this here, right? So I can write A union B as the union of A difference B and B. Now here you see A difference B and B by definition are disjoint sets. So at this point I can apply axiom number three and write this probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A difference B plus probability of B. Now at this point, if I add the probability of the intersection to both sides, okay, the equality obviously does not change. But when you look at this, okay, if you remember the picture, this is the sample space, I have A here, I have B here. Now, I have here A minus B, and I have A intersection B. Obviously, the union of these two disjoint sets give me A, which means by axiom number three again, the sum of their probabilities should give me probability of A, right? Therefore, I can write this as probability of A union B plus probability of A intersection B equals probability of A, which is equal to this sum here, plus probability of B, okay? And if I take this to the right-hand side, I arrive at this result. Probability of the union of two events A and B is equal to probability of A, probability of B minus probability of the intersection. A famous result, probably we all knew already. But this is how you derive it from the axioms. And in fact, this is also generalizable to more than two sets or two events. If you have three, for instance, the probability of A union B union C, you can write this as probability of A plus probability of B plus probability of C, the individuals, and then we have intersections of two, and they have minus signs in front, minus probability of A intersection B, minus probability of A intersection C, minus probability of B intersection C, and finally plus probability of A intersection B intersection C, okay? And well, you can try deriving this by yourself using the methodology described here. It's not that difficult. And you can also generalize this to even more sets. If you have K such events, the probability of their union is given by this, the, the sum of the individuals, K of them, and minus, minus sign is important here, the probabilities of intersections of pairs, okay? And I have a plus here, okay, let me just, make it clear, okay, I have a plus here, uh, where I have the sum of uh, intersections of triplets, and then if I have more, uh, here I have minus the sum of uh, probabilities of intersections with four events, plus, minus, plus, minus, it goes on like that, okay? Uh, how many terms you have here depends on, obviously, the number k. But this is the general form. 